The Information Commissioner's Office in the UK has issued a heavy fine to TikTok, 12.7 million pounds for breaching UK general data protection regulations between May 2018 and July 2020. The ICO made the following three findings. One, providing its services to UK children under the age of 13 and processing their personal data without consent or authorization from their parents or carers. Two, failing to provide proper information to people using the platform about how their data is collected, used and shared in a way that is easy to understand. Without that information, users of the platform, in particular children, were unlikely to be able to make informed choices about whether and how to engage with it. And three, failing to ensure that the personal data belonging to its UK users was processed lawfully, fairly, and in a transparent manner. What the Information Commissioner report said was, as a consequence, an estimated 1 million under 13s were inappropriately granted access to the platform with TikTok collecting and using their personal data. That means that their data may have been used to track them and profile them, potentially delivering harmful, inappropriate content at their very next scroll. Now, back in September 2022, the original ICO notice of intent for TikTok set the fine at £27 million. The ICO, taking into consideration the representations from TikTok, the regulator decided not to pursue the provisional findings relating to the unlawful use of special category data. Now, special category data includes ethnic and racial origin, political opinions, religious beliefs, sexual orientation, trade union membership, genetic and biometric data, or health data. That means this potential infringement was not included in the final amount of the fine set at £12.7 million. A TikTok spokesperson told the UK BBC, our 40,000 strong safety team works around the clock to help keep the platform safe for our community. While we disagree with the ICO's decision, which relates to May 2018, July 2020, we are pleased that the fine announced today has been reduced to under half the amount proposed last year. We will continue to review the decision and are considering next steps. So, how do you keep children safe from social media? Feel free to comment, follow, like and share.